Hi friends, here in this video, I'll be explaining a turnover jig. So, let's get started. Now, here we have the diagram of the turnover jig. It is basically used for those components in which we have to drill holes and those components are not symmetric. That is, the shape of the component is complicated and in that, the holes cannot be drilled by using simple jig plate. So we have to use the turnover jig and what are the parts of these turnover jig? Here there is a quick action nut, then at the same time there is a washer. Here is the workpiece which is kept in which the hole needs to be drilled. Then there is this location post and after that the quick action nut and this, this is the washer. This C washer is connected with the help of a chain which is attached to the jig body. Now, what happens during the operation is that we have to load the workpiece and how the workpiece gets loaded here there are footnuts given so at first this is the orientation it means the jig is kept in this way on the footnuts the workpiece is placed this is the workpiece as we see over here here we have this workpiece now this workpiece is kept on this jig body after keeping the workpiece over here on the location post then the C washer is attached and the quick action nut is tightened so the workpiece is fixed on this proper position and it is called as the turnover jig because once we have clamped the workpiece by using the quick action nut this entire jig would be turned over. It would be kept in this way during the machining process. So here we have these drill bushes as we see here these are the drill bushes and we want to produce holes on these two locations as we see here these are the center lines of the holes which we want to produce on this workpiece and the shape of the workpiece is not symmetric over here. So once it has been located and clamped then the drill would enter the drill bushes and the drill bushes are going to guide the drill because that is the function of the drill bushes to guide the drill into the workpiece and then the required number of holes are produced. So once the hole has been produced in a similar manner we can turn it over again remove this quick action nut that is we have to loosen it and then unload the workpiece. So in short that was an explanation regarding the turnover jig. At the end, if you will find my videos helpful, you all can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.